we're going to have a chance to find out a little bit about India and also films that are made there. And we have a father and a son here as our guest today. We have Dr. Prithviraj, and he's with Lutheran Medical, and his father is Mr. S. Panju. Mr. Panju, you make all sorts of films. What do you do? There's so many languages in India. We have got about 14 languages. And I have made film in nine languages. Nearly, I have made about 85 to 100 films. A hundred films you've done already? Yeah. In making films, you say you've made a hundred. Yeah. Are these films about the country or are they are story films like I, our films? I make about family, countries, and uh, also about government principles and what are the important events in India has happened. Now, for example, um, would you go and cover by film something for a newscast, like when... Sure, we go politically also. For example, I have adopted Smith goes to Washington of those days, Frank Afras, and uh, Deed goes to town. Like this, political films also we make. We make family themes. Do you do any mysteries? Yeah. Adventure? Yeah. Wow. We make uh, uh, pictures like James Bond. Recently also, last week, one latest hero made a James Bond type of picture, which is a super hit, run away hit. Overnight he became a hero. Doctor, did you have anything to do with the filmmaking when you were in India? Well, I guess I just used to visit my dad when he was on the sets, but other than that, I was never interested in the film industry. Now, your father is like a director then of the film. Well, he is a director and he has produced a couple of films too. Both things? Yeah. yeah. Is he tough to work for? Well, I guess people who work under him say that he's a real tough guy. How long have you been in this business? I have been here in this business for about 50 years. In 1935, one Mr. Ellis R. Duncan and Mr. Michael Omley from Ohio visitors. Under them, somehow or other, they were tempted to direct pictures in Tamil. So Ohio had something to do with your filmmaking? Yeah, somehow or other. Knowingly or unknowingly, I think my son is here. If I remember correct, they belong to Ackland also. If I remember correct. Mr. Duncan's sister was working as a steno in uh, American Embassy in India. Yes, uh -huh. So I was to come to Hollywood also during her marriage, but very unfortunate. I had to come to see him and his grandson and my grandson, his son. Your grandson you're seeing for the first time now first that you're here in Cleveland. Because I have been missing him for the past uh, three years. Three years is a little too long to have your son away from you. Is leprosy very prevalent in India? Yes. In most I have of the taken state. a subject in leprosy itself. Perhaps he, uh, knowingly or unknowingly, he, he took has a taken movie it. And it leprosy. was one of the problems of uh, the great uh, Mahatma Ji. Gandhiji believed in leprosy. He wanted to completely eradicate. Perhaps that made him to take it up. Gandhi really influenced your life then. Thank you very much for being our guest, yes, Mr. Sir. Espanju. We're grateful you came to see that new grandson because we had a chance to visit with you and continued success in your films. And who knows, one of these days I may be in India and I'll see one of them. Oh, welcome. I, 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 in just a moment, we'll be back. Thank you.